Hey, hi, hello everybody. Welcome to Bougie Budgets. I'm Lambo. I'm 23 years old. I'm a full-time college student. I have six classes remaining. Thank goodness. I have a full-time job and a part-time job that I use to cash flow school. I live in a one-bedroom apartment with some furry friends. So if any of that interests you, consider hitting that subscribe button. Today, we are going to see the damage that was done this past week, aka how much I spent this week as a 23 year old so we already have the breakdown over here so without further ado let's just go ahead and get right on into it you guys so usually I stand for videos but I'm actually sitting down because my feet are hurting so hopefully everything is in frame and if it's not in frame I'm sorry, and you probably won't end up seeing this video. Anyways, so let's head on into my weekly cash binder, starting off with pet. I'm taking $29 out of here. If you watched my cash stuffing for this past week, you would know that I bought a bed for my dog, even though she's not really good with... <laughs> having beds or blankets or anything of that sort because she will rip them to shreds but i got her a mat instead of a bed and it's been working out pretty good so far i don't leave it in her cage because she will go at it i need to be actively looking at her to make sure that she doesn't you know do anything to it but i keep it under this desk right here because she loves to lay under here and i can watch her at the same time so she has been loving it every time she comes in here she goes straight to the mat and lays down and is chilling so it's been awesome anyways as you can see i'm yabbering too much but i don't have the correct denominations right now for that so i'm going to skip it for now and come back to it um this is what we kind of sort of planned because we have 25 dollars in miscellaneous down here that i did not budget for so yeah we're gonna pull 75 dollars out of food so we'll have three dollars left in here for that i use up the grocery but this is for groceries i say it says food on here but it's really for groceries I use up the budgets every single week, pretty much. So the fact that I even have $3 in there is a miracle. Okay, let's head on over to, I don't even know. Where do I wanna go next? Um, um, I don't know. Actually, what we're going to do is for the pet, I'm going to grab just $30 out of here. And then if we end up getting a one at some point, I will go ahead and put it back. And if not, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. So let's highlight the pet fund. This is a revolving sinking fund. And then I think that is more or less it. Besides the miscellaneous, we'll see how we end up pulling that off. I don't know, you guys. This is a part of the process. Things don't always go according to plan. That is just life. Although we can plan, life will do whatever it wants. So you got to just roll with it. Don't stress. Just roll with it. Furniture. I'm going to pull $20 out of here. I don't even really know how much is in here. So I have $5 left plus a gift card in the back. Let me highlight this off before I forget. Perfect. One of my cousins graduated today from cosmetology school. That is so exciting and I can't wait to go eat some food later. Okay, what did I just pull and did I cross it off? Yes, I did. Furniture. Okay, okay. Let's head on into gifts. The gift was for my friend or um, my cousin that graduated. So I spent $40 on a gift and 
she loved it. So, worth it. Okay. I always think it's important to get people gifts when it comes to big things, big accomplishments in their life. Even if you can't do $40, you can only do like $10 or $15. I just like to say to make sure that it's a true gift, not just like something just to give it to them. Like if you don't know, if you're not 100% sure that they're going to like it, don't even waste your coin on it. It's not worth it. So yes, I definitely would have loved to spend a little bit more, but it ended up working out. It was really cute and she really enjoyed it. So yes, now let's move on to some heavy hitters, you guys. The pink binder, man, this pink binder be giving me a run for my money, you guys. A run for my money every single day, every single week. Uh, this pink binder does not come to play. Okay, so let's head on over to my health sinking fund. This is a revolving sinking fund because money's going in and money's going out all the time. I need to pull $100 out of here. So I need to decide how I want to do that because we have a lot going on in here. I don't know. I could just pull 250s and just leave it at that, but I don't really want to. So maybe we'll do um 50, 70. Let's see, 80, 90, 5, and 100 right 50 70 80 90 95 and 100 i think that's good that's a good idea right 70 80 90 95 and 100 so remaining in here we have 51 52 220, 230, and 235 remaining. This is why I stuff so much money in here every week because when I have to pull money out of here, it's not a joke, okay? It is not a game. Speaking of not a game, let's go ahead and get into this car maintenance, you guys. So the last cash stuffing, I had talked about how I desperately needed new tires, you guys it was so bad and i knew it was bad but it was so bad the tire place i went to honestly didn't want to take them off and i kind of had to beg them to take it off because they have like i don't know a little meter thing or whatever and it goes between like green orange or yellow and red and in red they don't take off your tires because they don't want to damage the rim and my tires were in the red let's just put it out there right now my tires were in the red and i was just like please please lamba needs these tires off and new tires on and they did it for me thank goodness i am so grateful they didn't damage my rim or anything any of my rims but yes it was expensive not as expensive as i thought it was gonna be which is exciting i got a little bit of a discount because i bought one of the better tires if not the best tires that they had to offer because you guys with my last car i am so traumatized like seriously i am so traumatized and yeah, my tire flew off of my last car. Um, I've popped, I just have not had good experiences with tires. So I just wanted to make sure that I got really good tires so that I wouldn't have to worry about it. I think they have a six year lifetime warranty or life average lifetime span. I don't know. But yes, anyways, this is just me yabbering to basically say that I spent twelve hundred and twenty five dollars so basically there's fourteen hundred dollars in here and 
I don't know. I don't know. Let's just let's just figure this out, you guys. Okay, let's just figure this out. So we have one, two, three, four. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is a thousand. This right here is a thousand. And then we need. 225 more so I have okay this is where things get complicated a little bit so this is 1100 right 50 and then I have a $50 on the bank so that's 1200 boom and so then that means I need to grab 75 more dollars so this 100 is going to stay. I'm going to set this 100 down and then pick up $25, right? Because I need 75. So let's set this down and then I'll grab a 20 and a five. Is this the good five? No, this five is better. Perfect, so I'm gonna grab 25 and then all of this is going to go away. Okay, let me put the real one on top. I have a $50 placeholder. We'll just set that right here. Let me scooch everything over a little bit. And then this 50. Wait, is this right? I don't even know. <laughs> I think this is right, yeah, because I have 100 left and 125. I thought I had more than that. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. So, like, hold on. I need to figure this out here for a second. Um, so I paid twelve twenty five. I had eleven fifty in the bank, and I had fourteen hundred to start off with. Well, that's really th thick. <laughs> Where's the boop boop? Okay, so I had fourteen hundred in total. And it cost twelve twenty five, which means let's see if I can do this right. So this is going to be a three, so that's ten, but then I'm gonna grab one to make this nine. So this can be ten. Ten minus five is oh sometimes I don't like when the Apple pencil does that. Anyways, this is five. Um, 9 minus 2 is 7, 3 minus 2 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So I should have 175, right? Is that right? Because I have this $50 placeholder here, and I had 1150 in the bank. So let me grab this 50 and put down this 50 to represent $50 in the bank. So I think this is right then. I don't know, we'll add it all up right here so that I can double check. Okay, so 175 is left, I think. We'll see. <laughs> And then I need $25 in miscellaneous that I have no idea where I'm going to grab it from. So, uh, actually, I think I do kind of have an idea now that I'm thinking about it. So we're going to start off in my miscellaneous. We'll grab the five that's in here which means I need $20, 
Um, I'm kind of tempted to pull this $5 in fast food because it's not really necessary. So I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to pull the five out of there. So that's 10 left. Um... Yeah, so that's it for there. So I need $15. And I'm going to head into the sparkly binder because I do have another miscellaneous envelope in here that I was technically planning for something else, but it is miscellaneous so that it can go towards whatever we might need it to so i need how much how much do i need i need 15 dollars so i'm gonna put these two fives down which means i need five more dollars so I'm going to grab these two 20s. Let me grab the nicest of the 20s. Yeah, I guess it is these two. So 20, 40, 45, and 50. Put this 50 down. Grab a five. So now we have 45 left. And miscellaneous. We'll definitely have to bump this envelope back up again. Because I've been pulling money out of here and not adding money back. Okay. Okay, so in an effort to not keep you guys here all day to watch me struggle, I'm going to use a calculator. Ugh, hold on. Okay, we got it. The struggle was real a little bit, but we got it. Okay. So let's just erase all of this here. And I think I technically have an extra dollar, right? So we grabbed all of the cash. Let me just highlight this. Okay, so let's just go ahead and add this up. I'm at, I added, or I added, I grabbed $30 instead of 29. So we'll do 30 plus 75 plus 20 plus 40 plus 100 plus 12 25 plus 25 that's going to give us let me write it in something that you guys can actually see see it keeps switching i don't like that one five whoa one Fifteen, fifteen. What an even number. So let's go ahead. Actually, we need to keep the calculator here. There's a lot of cash going on. So let's just add it up, right? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So 1,200, and then we have 51, 50, and 200, and then we have 20, 40, and 60, tens we have 10, 20, and 30. And then fives, these fives are all over the place. Somebody made a comment the other day saying that me not facing them drives them a little bit crazy. I am so sorry. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. So 15, 15. Okay. So my confusion there in my car envelope, I fixed it while i was confused look at me go that deserves the celebration emoji with like the what do you call it 
that one's hard to explain but like the face with the party hat and the little like what's that called the thing that you blow into a party popper is it called a party popper i don't even know oh my gosh does that mean i'm getting old you guys i'm only 23 tell me i'm not old in the comments <laughs> i cannot i need to go eat something i'm starting to go crazy I'm starting to go crazy. Okay, let's do a nice little fan here. Let me turn this off though, so you guys can't see. There we go. Okay. Wow. Crazy. Look at all these hundreds. They're not even all showing. Na, 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 na. We're just gonna. This is this is crazy. How much money did I spend? Fifteen hundred dollars. Who are you? <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be everything for this week's cash unstuffing. How do you guys feel about all of this moolah that I just spent? Honestly, worth it. Tires. I needed tires, and they bring so much peace of mind. I feel so much safer in my car now. Um, there are a few things I still need to do to my car until I'm like 100% completely done with, you know, fixing it up because I did just get it a few months ago um, because I didn't have a car for a whole year prior to when I got this car. And I got this car at the end of last year. So I pretty much went all of 2023 without a car. Anyways, I'm yabbering too much. So let me uh, let you guys get on your way. If you're here until the end, go ahead and put that smiley face emoji with the party hat and the little party popper. You guys know what I'm talking about so that I know that you are a real one. Thanks for sticking with me through the confusion and chaos. If you're new here though, you are not new. If you are not new here, you know that that, excuse me, is how we roll here so that's everything i really truly appreciate every single one of you and as usual i will see all of you guys in the next one peace